Hi, I am Sheikh Mahbub Basha. Welcome to my channel. Happy learning. Hi, students. Welcome. This is a ninth class, chapter two. Laws of motion. Let us start the period one. We understood the rest motion, scalar. Vector, distance, displacement, speed, velocity, uniform speed, uniform velocity, acceleration, deceleration, equations of motion, etc. In the chapter one, that is motion. The three equations of motion are v is equal to u plus a t, s is equal to u t plus half a t square. v square minus u square is equal to 2 as now what is the natural state of an object if it is left to itself what happens if you stop pedaling your bicycle you know it slows down gradually and finally stops here i am releasing one marble it rolls rolls and finally comes to rest aristotle who is a great philosopher of that time concluded that the natural state of an earthy object is to be at rest the natural state of an earth is to be at rest that means every body on earth tries to be at rest a body rolling from a hill to down stops at some place the water flowing in the river finally reaches the oceans and becomes stable and by these observations aristotle stated that the natural state of an earthy body is to be at rest on the other hand galileo who is also a great philosopher stated that an object in moving will remain in same motion as long as no external force is applied on it Galileo did his many experiments on inclined planes with the smooth surfaces. He used to roll the marbles from top to bottom of the inclined plane, from bottom to top of the inclined plane, and on the horizontal surfaces, some smooth, some rough, some inclined, some horizontal, like that. He conducted. many experiments on various smooth and inclined and plane surfaces he observed that smoother the surface the farther the ball traveled if the surface is smooth the ball released on that surface is traveling more distances if you make it further smooth I repeat if you make it further smooth the ball rolling on the surface will travel to a further long distances and finally galileo concluded that if the surface was perfectly smooth then the ball will travel infinitely infinitely until it is encountered by another object that means if the surface is perfectly smooth then the ball rolling on that will roll to a infinite distance until it collide with another object when the marble rolls down a slope it picks up the speed due to force of gravitation 
when the marble rolls up an inclined plane the speed decreases now when the marble rolls on a level surface its speed neither increases nor decreases it will continue to move with the constant velocity by these experiments galileo was in contrast to aristotle aristotle concluded that the natural state of an earthy body is to be at rest whereas galileo concluded that an object in moving will remain in same motion as long as no external force is applied on it galileo observed that as shown in this figure the marble is released from its initial height h rolled down due to the force of gravity and then it moves up the slope until it reaches its initial height then he reduced the angle of the upward slope and did the same experiment this time the marble rolled up the inclined plane to the same height but it had to go farther in this instance it seems to be traveling to a longer distance along the upward slope but when it is measured in terms of height it has traveled to the same height from which it was released he further reduced the upward slope and did the same experiment he released the marble from a height h it travels down the slope and then moves up along the slope it seems to be traveling to a longer and longer distance but in terms of height it is reaching to the same height from it it was released observe the height of points a and b in each case a and b are at same height then he assumed the case of no slope and he thought that the marble keep on moving forever along the level surface at constant velocity as it has not yet reached to the same height galileo concluded that in the absence of external influences the natural state of a moving object is uniform motion from these experiments we can say that an object will remain in uniform motion unless a force acts on it galileo neglected the friction but it is very difficult to perform any physical activity without friction can you imagine without friction no it is impossible keeping in mind the ideas of aristotle and galileo sir isaac newton proposed his theory it has three fundamental laws they are popularly known as newton's laws of motion in the next class we will discuss about newton's laws of 
motion till then take care thank you